20, 30. Okay. But I was I was doing two to three shows a weekend. I was getting twenty k a show. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. So it was like it was at that point where it was like I was doing it because I knew like oh man I'm booked four times. I'm finna get this right back. And I was just tweaking, but that that wasn't the mindset that I should have had. And when you around other people that have the same problem as you, that's not trying to help themselves, it's like you gonna keep bringing yourself down with them as well. So if you don't have the right guidance telling you like, man, you don't need to be doing that, or you need to stop right now, then you just gonna crash. <laughs>
nah, they don't know that. Even before that, he was writing. Right. Like, so I get it. I know. That's why I said from the consumer side, do you ever, does that get to you though? Because sometimes a certain level of success can hit and Mm -hmm. you might not be prepared for it. Do you, does that get to you people? Have you ever, have you even heard this like one hit wonder thing going around? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I had got into it with, uh, with Six Nine a while back. Um, was on the shade room. He was like, oh, one hit one that is, whoop, whoop, boom, boom, boom. But it was just like, it don't phase me. Mm. I just want so many. You know what I'm saying? I want to be able to live comfortably. I want to be able to eat. I want to be able to provide for my family. Mm. So what another person view of me, that's what they view. From what I'm doing, mm. I know what I'm doing. I know what's coming in. I see them chicks. I make money in my sleep. Mm. I make money when I walk. I make money when I eat. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, what you saying don't phase me. But it's at, it's at a certain point when it's like too much of it, it can get to you. But I practice the laws of attraction, meditation. I try to let all that negative energy go. Mm. And sometimes it, it work, and then sometimes it don't work because it's certain people that can get up under your skin. And everybody got that that that, that person that can get up under their skin. Mm. So it done been times where I done been in certain situations, and it's just not from people. I have had to talk to a therapist, you feel what I'm saying, just to focus on mental health. But it it wasn't just from people saying, you know what I'm saying, hateful things. It was a lot of other tragic situations that happened in my life that people don't know about. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Damn. This is deep. This is hard. <laughs> now, I, I, listen, I live for moments like this, to be yeah. honest. She so you went to therapy. Yeah. You say you, you acknowledging that it hurt. Right, it can be hurtful. Yeah, 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 it can be hurtful. Who was it? What? Who was it hurtful from the most? Oh, so with that, it's not just like I said. It's just not. The, it's not people saying words. So people don't know in this field, in this line of work, artists have a dangerous job. Mm. Being an artist is dangerous. Yeah, for sure. Because first, for, first and foremost, you go into somebody else's city. You don't know who feel like they run the city and who feel like they want to show you out. For no reason at all. Mm. So you gotta, you gotta have a mindset of I just want to get back home. Mm. Then you in a studio. You feel what I'm saying? Studios don't be having windows and and stuff like that. So you trapped inside a box and you don't know who you in the studio with. I was in the studio. I'm not gonna release the artist name or nothing like that. They had something going on in the other room. The intern came in the room and was like, uh, "Where's your A and R? My A and R had just left." So as he turned around, I turn around, I see everybody in the studio drawing down. I'm thinking they drawing down at me. They aiming at the door. And I'm like, dang, in my head, I'm thinking, like, what the f- going on? So they telling me, man, move. I turn around, the intern shot in the head right behind me. So I, the music's still loud, but they didn't cut the music off because they all, like, you know what I'm saying, on the floor aiming at the door. So I go run. I leave my, my gun is on the other side of the room. So the music still loud, boom. I I'm, I get up, cut the music off, go grab mine. I hear doom, 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 doom. Just glass breaking everything outside the outside the room. But I can't see what's going on outside the room. But the intern on the floor bleeding. You know what I'm saying? He bleeding out like it's it's good. I I locked the door. Whatever, whatever. So I'm calling my folks around the corner like, hey bro, y'all come get me up out of here. Boom. So it's like even in my in my comfort zone when I'm working it, it's like that situation. It traumatized me, you know what I'm saying? It's like gave me like PTSD because when I'm when I'm supposed to be in my element and I'm working, I'm thinking like, dang, something else crazy can happen. Mm. You know what I mean? So it's that on top of you know what I'm saying the negative hate. Sheesh. So and it and it, and it's just not the only situation I've been in, but I'm just giving you an insight. So with all that combining into one. It's like you gonna need some type of mental help behind it because it's like I can go places and I still just be like jittery, you know what I mean? She before you move on, nigga, like how do you feel? Like are you like how you feeling right now? You know what I'm saying? I know you say I'm good, I'm here, but like yeah, what's like some of the things that's going through your mind right now outside of being grateful? I understand you're grateful, but like yeah. outside of that, how how are you feeling? Like I mean, I'm cool. I'm, like I said, I'm just here. Mm. Uh, I, I'm I, every day. I'm pushing forward. I'm trying to keep going. Um, I definitely got to keep faith alive. 
You know what I mean? I'm I'm real strong in, in, in believing. You know what I mean? Manifestation. But I'm I'm here. You know, and that's all I really can be is here. How hard does this this get, man? Oh, it get real hard because you got to understand. Once you get accustomed to a certain lifestyle, you got to keep making that money to continue to live that lifestyle. So me coming from where I'm coming from, when you when you when you a go getter, you gonna do whatever it takes. You gonna you gonna get it how you how you get it. You gonna get it how you live. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? So I mean it's hard, but I mean right now, like I said, I'm I'm rolling, I'm floating, I'm good. I'm glad you said that. Let's go back for a second, right? Mm -hmm. Were you signed when you did um, Throat Baby? Nah, I went. I went signed yet. That was all independent. Yeah, I went signed yet. I got signed. The song was already hot when I signed. So wait, wait, wait. So you got all of that money straight to you? At first, yeah. In the first, the first, uh, probably like the first, the first two checks. Wait, how much was it? Um, the first one from the first streams, I probably it, it brought like I want to say like one twenty, one seventy five, hundred seventy five thousand. Came in, that was like the first streaming. But as far as show money, I was already, I had already done did probably like two, two fifty, three hundred in show money. All independent. Yeah. Sheesh. Damn. Yeah. So, so wait, why why was you signed then? Um, so a group of my friends at the time, they wanted to start they own record label. And, you know, every label reached out to me, every label was trying to sign with the whoop. I wanted to I wanted to reach that next level. Mm. And me being the person that I am, a specific label, I was already cool with these people, you know what I'm saying? I already known with them. I wanted to sign with them. Who I'm signed with right now, every I I wanted to sign with them. Mm. But they offered a deal I couldn't resist. They Who's offered the me my own them? deal and they offered my homeboys them their own label deal. Damn. Nobody else offered that for my for my people. So when they offered that and they got their own advance, it was like Sheesh. everybody eat. So wait, how much they give you? Uh, they, you know, I'm uh, I'm just like I'm just like we having a conversation now. I'm just curious. Yeah, I, know. I, I really only remember. <clears throat> but was it six was, figures? Yeah. So you made the one. Wait. So let's pause. How much was the second check? I don't remember. Shit, not not the label yours. I don't remember. So the first check was like one seventy, I yeah, think. Yeah, like one seventy five, something like 175 that. One seventy five independent. Then you did the shows two something. So you roughly around four independent. Yeah, right. Then you sign. Right. So you know, yeah. So they the, the money that they gave was definitely like that's hard. Yeah, but it was just the fact of like everybody who was on the ground with me who helped me come up. I just wanted to look out for them and make sure that they was in the position. Since I was in a position, mm -hmm. I wanted to put everybody else on. That's hard. You know what I mean? And when they offered them that deal, that's what made me take it because at the end of the day, they don't know the business, but these people do know the business and they going to guide y'all and help y'all, you know what I'm saying, teach y'all the steps of the business and then y'all can go sign y'all own artists and build y'all own empire. So I'm going to go back and forth here. Mm -hmm. Back and forth. So <clears throat> you said um, you were saying how... You gotta maintain this lifestyle, right? Right. What were some of the mistakes that you made when you made that lump sum? Because I'm, I'm assuming that's a short amount of time, right? right? You made that lump sum. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming you, you went out and said, "I'm gonna live." Mm -hmm. What were some of the mistakes that you made from that? Uh, some that you wish you probably could go uh, back and change. Well, my mistakes, and everybody has their own addictions. Everybody had their own problems. My mistake would have been my gambling habit. Uh, I'm a a yeah. bad, bad gambler. I would go to Vegas and and blow a, a Lambo truck. You feel what I'm saying on the oh. table? Like I win, but then I start geeking and thinking like I might have just won seventy five, eighty thousand. But in my mind, I'm like, if I just got eighty thousand, you got I can, to play I can win. No, I can win a hundred. I can win two hundred thousand if I just won eighty thousand. Oh. So I start tweaking and start losing and then just giving they money back, then going and getting more money and then just crashing out like that. What's the most you think you blew of your money? Not not the money that you came up Oh, out of pocket. Um, I done blew probably like half a mil or more. That's all the money that we just said. From that, yeah. <laughs> From that part. What the f Yeah, it had got bad, but 
you need therapy just for that. That's crazy. That's what you need therapy. But you see, that's what I'm trying to tell you. It wasn't like, it wasn't every, like I said, all the stuff for therapy is just everything combined into one. Yo, so you blew a half a million at one time or just over the span? Nah, oh, that's probably like over on the gam just okay. gambling. How much you think you you, you blew at, in one sitting? Oh, in one in one year? Other? One sitting, one sitting. Oh, uh, when probably like when I would go, I ain't really like go too crazy, so it'd be probably like twenty thirty. Okay, but I was I was doing two to three shows a weekend. I was getting twenty k a show. Okay, you feel what I'm saying? Okay. So it was like it was at that point where it was like I was doing it because I knew like oh man I'm booked four times I'm finna get this right back and I was just tweaking but that that wasn't the mindset that I should have had and when you around other people that have the same problem as you that's not trying to help themselves it's like you gonna keep bringing yourself down with them as well so if you don't have the right guidance telling you like. Man, you don't need to be doing that, or you need to stop right now. Then you just gonna crash. Wait, bro, this is about to be fire. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. This is about to get that is crazy. So I'm just inquisitive at this point. So mm -hmm. you just said something when you're when you're not around the right people. Right. We seen um uh what's the dude name? John Morant, right? Mm -hmm. Just like basically tweak out, got right. guns that he gets suspended for eight games. Do you think that comes from not having the right people around you? Because if you're the breadwinner, is it hard when you had when you was the breadwinner? Mm -hmm. Even if you did have the right people around you, I'm curious, would you even listen? Uh, yeah. The type <laughs> of person I am, I would listen, but it got to be from somebody who like is actually doing something. What does that mean? Having more money than you? Not more money. Mm. That's got more of a business mindset than me. If I see if I see that you like on your P's and Q's and everything that you're doing is right, and I know like every move that you make have been right, I don't have no other choice other than to listen. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? But if it don't it don't matter. A person can have more money and still be an idiot. Right. You see what I'm saying? They just got they they just got it another type of way. Or, or, you know what I'm saying? It don't in their own way, but. It just got to be like the right people. So in that job, Moran situation, you could kind of empathize with that because you could see how not yeah. having the right people around you could make you tweak out easily. Yeah, and necessarily it don't even got to be it don't even got to be that the wrong people was around him. He could have just been on one at the moment. Like yeah. I don't fault him for having no no fire. Yeah, not even you a five, but just a series of things. I, I say that because it's just the splashing it, the <clears throat> showing it. I say that because like you saying not having the right people around you. Mm -hmm. It just sparked something in my mind, like, damn, that's crazy, cause you're a product of that. It's like, yo, if I would have had the right people around me, I probably would have saved way more money. Right? Yeah. No, that that's 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 facts. Like, if you a lot of people, if they would have had the right people around them, they would have saved more money. Yo, so I'm just curious now. How are you living now? The same way. I'm good. Are you like? But do you ever think about it? Like, man, I wish I had. I don't ever think about the past. I can't dwell on it. It only can make make it better. I know you can't dwell on it, but I'm like we real, we human. Like, I'm just saying, like yeah, you don't ever think about it. Like man, if I would have just if I was if I would have did yeah, if I would have did that, then yeah, of course everybody had it. Everybody had that thought, but it's like I done made more money now than I made then. For real, yeah. off the of writing, just off of from writing. But how what people don't know that money from them songs, it don't come right away. It see, come like a year or something later. Oh, so now you starting to get the yeah, talk the, to me because I'm I'm yeah, curious. Yeah, I, I started getting that like last year. Sheesh. Or year before it was one of them. When, but, you, when you already learned your lessons. Yeah, when I learned the lessons. So it's like the <clears> other <throat> money was just like the fast. It was shows. It was a fast money. Like it gave me time to like sit and think. You feel what I'm saying? Damn. Like that's one thing about this game it don't come it don't come that fast now if you touring and doing shows yeah it come fast but you gotta wait quarters and all type of stuff just for you know what i'm saying certain things to add up but be real something had to change because like think about it. you was you say you was getting 20 at the time for a show are right. you still getting 20 no 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 do you ever like does that ever get to you at all like it's like man i need to no nah, it was fun while it lasted mm. now the thing is that's hard it's about i was at that 20 but now how I'm finna get to this 50. 
You see what I'm saying? Mm. So my mindset every day I wake up is how can I get to the next level from what I started at? If I came out the gate swinging like that, I got to come swinging two times harder than I did before. And a lot of things around me have changed because a lot of people that I was with didn't know the business. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So my process didn't go how it was supposed to go. So I had to change that circle and, and change a lot of things and reconstruct the people around me. Mm-hmm. I had to see what was best for me. Some folks didn't like that. And, you know, business is business at the end of the day. But I had to to really dig deep into myself and find this stuff out. You feel what I'm saying? I had to see. Like, a lot of people would be blinded by friendships and what if this happened, what if this, but you playing with my livelihood here. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I got people I need to provide for. I got things I need to do. So with that being said, it's just like, man, I don't know. Yo, this episode is sponsored by The Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy, David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created The Morning Meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now, listen, as an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and winging in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now, you got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I'll see you there. Do you ever find yourself trying to chase that hit again? Nah, because I wasn't even trying to make a hit then. I just record. I just have fun and record. But you got it now. The so people like, decided You might it. not have been trying to get it then, but now you, you experienced it. Yeah, the people decided that though. So it's just like I got to keep my process the same way I make my process. So I'm just. So do you chase the experiences? Re- Cause you made that song off of like really getting some head and like she yeah, was really yeah, yeah. going crazy. Nah, I don't chase. And you said a friend gave you some head too or some shit like that, right? Yeah, it was you two don't girls. chase experiences now. Mm-mm. Come on, I don't. I just live. That's what I was doing before. I I'm I'm a, I'm like a. Is no free way. Spirit. Is no way in the world you drop. This was like middle of COVID, right? Am I tripping? And that's another thing that folks don't understand. It was way harder. Like you drop. I can't, even do, I can't even do concerts. I can't do nothing. So my process of when I came out was limited. So the exposure and the things that I that I was supposed to be doing, I couldn't do because it was it was shut down. But I'm saying is I'm thinking I'm thinking like yeah, you drop a hit. You in my mind, if I make if I get a million views, I'm chasing a million views. I want another million. I want it. Like you know, I need of, it. Of course, but I'm not. I, I can't chase nothing. Mm. You, it, when you taste it, you're going to wear yourself out. You're going to tie yourself out. You're going to go fact. crazy. That's a fact. That's a fact. People will kill themselves trying to do what they did. That's true. I don't want to kill myself. I don't want to die right now. Yeah. I want to get keep getting this money and I just want to live. I want to experience the things that I couldn't experience when I was broke. Like, that's it. How How is this writing shit for you? No, it's good. I get is calls it, every day. Is the writing shit better than, like, actually making the song? Yeah, because I'm a shy person. So being in the spotlight, it just be like, nigga, you ain't shy. You made throw baby. I'm not trying to hear that. You're no, not shy, right. nigga. See, that's the thing. <laughs> I made it, but me making it, that was just me and my element as an artist. I'm just recording. Okay, okay. okay. I'm I'm in front of a microphone. What's more lucrative though, the actual making the song or writing the song? I mean, it just depends. It could be both. Now, if you got a hit and it's an artist, they gonna make a lot of money off a of tour. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You see okay, what I'm saying? Okay. And that's all them. But then you go, you get a hit as a writer. You still getting you getting paid too, as if you if it, as if it was your song. Right. You just don't get paid from the shows. Yeah, you just not getting no show money or nothing like that. So it's like, what's the last hit you wrote? The last hit I wrote. Yeah. I'm trying to. Th- I don't know. You don't know? Nah, I don't know. I got a lot of I got a lot of them in the works right now though. It's been dropped. What's the last? The last thing that 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 came out that I wrote that I wrote on was 
the well actually I ain't even really write on it because I was the artist on it too. So the last the like the last two things like I said was like the that came out was the Madden and then the Rockstar Energy. Rockstar Energy was the latest. Okay. Yo, it's crazy because like, do you write for girls? Yeah, yeah. It's crazy because like, uh, remember when we first found out uh, Yachty wrote uh, Act up. City Girl? Yeah, Act yeah. Up? Like, that was crazy. Right, see, is that easy to make? Is something like that easy to make? Um, It's funny because you got to actually like put yourself in the shoes of a girl sometimes. Now, sometimes you can record it as yourself, mm -hmm. and then you go back and flip it and change the words around to cater to a, to cater to a female. Wait, wait, let's see how we can do that. So I'm like, real ass nigga give a fuck about a bitch. Yo, real ass nigga give a fuck about a bitch. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how he did it, but that's how <laughs> how would it? Wait, did wait, it. wait. So wait, wait. Real ass nigga give a fuck about a bitch. What big LV wallet? Like, well, how would you say? It? I don't know. <laughs> how would that song? <laughs> I don't know. I, it, you just gotta be there. You gotta do it. To, 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 I can't really explain it. How would that? What uh, real ass nigga? Well, how how the song go? Real ass bitch, you know, fuck my nigga. Big Breaking Bag, whole five. That was in the studio with him, hey, big bro. LV wallet, whole five six figures. But I ain't gonna lie though. I record sometimes. I record straight as a girl. Oh shit! I put the voice on everything. It's it's for the money. So wait, so so. Damn, so Yachty could have just made that as a nigga for real. And he they could have flipped it. Yeah, he could have flipped it or he could have just did it straight as a girl. Is that easy? Is that is it easier to make songs for, for the other for for a girl? I mean, if you comfortable with yourself, yeah. Mm. But if you're not comfortable, you feel like, nah, I ain't finna do all that, da da da, then probably not. But for me, I'm all about a bag. Like, um, so if you had to choose, if you had to choose between being a writer right. or the artist, what which which would you choose? Writer. For real? Yeah. I'm sorry, I like to be behind the scenes, man. That artist folks don't understand that's a lot of pressure. I mean that show money is a lot of money. Oh, yeah, show money, but I mean, as long as you 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 getting money that's comfortable and consistent. You ain't gotta worry about the show, man. Mm. You could be happy and folks not even know who you are. Damn. And you could just go anywhere you want to and just live life. You know Damn. what I'm saying? Without people being in your business. Facts. But then on the flip side, you blow up. Now everybody in your business and looking at you, and you can't even really, you gotta, you might not even know this person, but they might be mad at you just because they girl. Like your music or your they girl got a picture of you on their wall, but now he don't like you just because of that. Right. And now you you got low key pressure in the room that you don't even know for somebody mm. you don't know. Is people still recognizing you to this day? Like yo, that's oh yeah, nah for sure. Damn. Man, come on, man. That's hard. I'm him. You they they can't. I I fucked the world up. So, yeah, I ain't did. even gonna say just to stay. I fucked the world no, up. I mean, you did. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, you did. I had folks saying a a, a, a whole turn. I you mean, feel me? Nah, no cap. So can't nobody take that away from me. I go down there as a legend. That's and a timely ain't, song. And you telling me you don't be sitting back like, damn, man, I miss those times. It's, you could the, it's time, not, the time's still here. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Bro, come on, don't cap, bro. It's still here. No, it's not. I'm trying to tell It's you. not here. It's here. Respectfully, bro. It's here. Come on. Oh my God. I don't cap you down. Bro, you can sit here. You're not gonna see it. Tell me. Mm -hmm. Is that in 2023? Right. It's the same time, the same feeling that it was when Throat Baby first came out. You're not about to sit up here and lie. Oh, you saying the same feeling? Nah. nah yeah, you nah, said nah, time's nah, still nah. here. Nah. Right. And it's still here. Like it ain't, it ain't, it ain't gonna go nowhere. No, it came. It gone. It's gone. <laughs> no. What? No, not you. No, you working. You're late. Yeah, I'm, nah. I but know I'm that. saying that. That, you can't that, that, oh yeah, compare, yeah, yeah. Come on, bro. Come I mean, on. Yeah, about can, come you on. Can say, you can say that. That's can say what that. I'm saying. So you don't be sitting back with missing them times? Because there's probably nowhere you could go where it was bitches that was probably like, let me be your throat baby. Still to this day. Not as many. Yes. Not the same amount. No, you lying. Yes. Not the same amount. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's a song. I'm the nigga. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> That's not going. That's not. Go, that's not going to go. <laughs> I'm saying, but no. What I'm saying, it's not the same amount of chicks doing it. It might be still it's chicks. The same, like it's the same amount. I'm so not. Gonna, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to cap you down. Me being me <coughs> is that. That's ain't, all it is. Ain't that's crazy how 
some shit will turn a bitch out. Like a bitch will hear a song and she it's like, it. I wanna now she is just the, the nastiest freak. I wanna be your throat, baby. Open your mouth. Open It's because like, it's like <laughs> you comfortable. Somebody had to say it to make you comfortable. Right. Like the fact that you that, that that you can see that picture and now you see that everybody is accepting it. Now you can be you can come out of your shell mm. and you can be you. Facts. Ho is life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's just what it is. You, you dropped a project that had like all like party like Yo, uh cash, cash only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was my first that was my first album that I dropped. And I and I, I, I feel accomplished with that because it went number ninety eight on the Billboard top two hundred. Sheesh. That's you see what I'm saying? Good. And that was my first that's my first project that I dropped. So for it to go number ninety eight on the Billboard top two hundred, I just I'm like, hey. Bro, you know all saying? this is you're not about to tell me. So you tell me right now, if you drop a project, it's gonna go ninety eight? No, it might not go ninety eight. Cool, no. cool, cool. So you telling me right now that mm -hmm. you not about to miss those times? Like, come on, we hear me. You re no, like, be real I, with me. No, you you saying I don't? Of course you gonna. All miss right, it. that's, you that's all I was waiting. Okay, yeah, cool, for cool, sure. Cool. That's all you I was waiting for. Miss it, yeah. Cause that that was a, t bro. It's niggas out here that's like, man, I hated COVID. I know you probably like shit. Take me back. No, I hated COVID. For real? Yeah. I, talk, I, I couldn't do I couldn't tour I couldn't do nothing I would've made way more after this I would've made nah, way fact. more nah, fact. I can't yeah, do that, I that can't 20 do nothing would've been 50 easy I mean it's possible see this is the thing and this is why I say being you gotta be with the right people mm. I had so many songs that I was supposed to drop in that same time frame but niggas just rolled out throat baby and it was so much. I had one song on Apple Music for damn near a year. Just thought, baby, that was it. Sheesh. But it's all the time. I'm like, damn, but I ain't signed it. So I'm like, damn, man, we need to drop, drop something, something else. else. Like, these folks, I, I got snippets and everything. Folks, like, we need that, we need that. Song never came out. Damn. Roll that out. Now it's like deaf ears now. That, is that shit annoying for you though? Yeah. That shit gotta be. Especially yeah. niggas that try to jump ship. Like you yeah. had some of the hottest people. Like you had uh City Girls was on. Yeah. Um it the was somebody, baby. The baby was on there. Yeah. Then what you call it on no ceilings. Mm. Wayne Wayne and Rich the Kid shit it on no ceilings. So it was like, if Wayne remixed those song. Oh yeah, for sure. Man, come on, man. So now you drop do you like try to reach out to niggas and niggas? How did how is it? Like how is the energy now? Niggas is like he can't reach out to nobody no more, boy. Damn, niggas don't even know a nigga. That's crazy. Don't even know a nigga. When that song was hot though, motherfuckers know you. That make it. That make a nigga want to say fuck this shit. Ain't everybody in it. Nah, nah, nah. It just make you know the next time around, you know what to do. What's that? How, what, what hold you your do? motherfucking nuts. How do you hold your nuts, man, nigga? You want you want to hop on this shit, nigga? Fuck you. <laughs> No features, no, no remix. I, I I came out I came out with no features. I ain't had no features. I didn't need no feature to build my song. Mm. You see what I'm saying? I did that on my own by myself. I wasn't no motherfucker who like try to go pay for a feature and then like blow the song up that way. I can hold my own weight. So I'm curious now. This is not even no clickbait. I'm just curious. So do you try to reach out to a uh, the baby or a uh, city girls? Oh no, nah, the, the, the baby hit me. No, no, I'm saying like now, right? Do you do you try to reach out to these artists to try to get like yo, like help me out now? Nah, the, the baby still hit me. If he got a show, if he in the city, he gonna hit me. Mm. JT, anytime I hit JT. So why haven't you time? hit them to ask like to be one of their songs? I mean, you know, it don't, it don't, that ain't how the game works. But that's what I'm asking, nigga. Like, it, it worked when it was your time. When it, when it was your turn right. and your shit was hot, they hit you. Yo, bro, all right, bet, come on. Now, when return is like, bro, like. See, I hit them for this. I hit them to get on the song. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I get them, I, I, I was like, that's who I wanted on, that's who I wanted on the remix. You okay. feel what I'm saying? All right, that makes because sense. Because I felt like the baby was in that lane and the city girls just like, I felt like that song was a song for city boys. No, for sure. So. It went to the point where they hit me up and was like, let it, let me get on that. Like, nah, it okay. wasn't nothing like that. So you wouldn't hit them up to be on one of their songs? I mean, if it ever got down to it, I'd love to be on one of their songs. Mm. But I just know how the game work, and I know it's just like... Have you asked, nigga? No. 
Would you? Would I ask? Oh yeah, I'll be like, I, I, I if I if I feel like I can bring something to the table for it, you know what I'm saying? If I hear something, then mm-hmm. yeah. But nah, I ain't never really, I ain't never asked. Like I know, I, like I said, I know how the game is. That shit gotta be frustrating though. I ain't gonna lie, just like just being honest, because I'm the same way. I'm on, right. the, I'm on the same shit. Like, man, I've had so many people on my show, mm-hmm. so many people, bro. Right. And niggas would be like, bro, why you don't go on that show? Yeah. <laughs> like, do I have to say anything else? Like, yeah. it's like that's how the game go. That's how the game go. And but, I, ain't, I can't, I can't <laughs> hate on, I can't hate on nobody. It's just like it is what it is. But you just like you know, the next time around. Like, it is what it is. Mm. You know what I mean? Shit. To each his own. Mm. But mostly everybody who was on my project still to this day fuck with me. Mm. Nah, you, I ain't gonna lie. Just even interviewing, you seem cool as shit. Like, you seem like mad. Just I be, I, cool. I, I stay out the way and I just try to like stay to myself. I play the game, right? Go to the studio, go travel. You know what I'm saying? I like. I'm a tourist, but I like to be on the water. On, on the water, so I like going jet skiing. I like surfing. Mm-hmm. I like to go clear my mind and go sit on the yacht. And you know what I'm saying? Just, just kick it. Mm. Like that's me. I'm an adventure. I'm an adventure person. Mm. Skiing, snowboarding, I do all that. How is shit going now? Like, like how is it for you? Like, you right in it's just like it's how you want it to be. I guess you, it's, it's, yeah. you control it. Yeah, it's, it's it's busy. Like all different different companies. Calling me every day, you know mm. what I'm saying? Flying me here and doing it. Because what people don't know, like that's like my that's a secret. That's one of my secrets. Like I'm one of like the hardest writers mm. in the world. Yo, give me some advice for somebody that just dropped a song and it's a hit. A first person, like it's not the they, first person. Like it's somebody that's new to it. It's that first hit. They new to the game, sort of how you was like, I don't want to say new to the game, because that's disrespecting you. Nah, I was like, new. Yo, you was new. I've been around the game. But that was my my first song that was like just put out the right way. Okay, so let's give me some advice to somebody who just dropped. They new to the game and they blow up. Man, make sure everything. Make sure your team right. Like make sure, <clears throat> just make sure everything right. Like no, 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 no. We gonna start over now. What that mean? Make sure your team right. It's so many components to the team. Give me make some sure real your team game. Right. Like what like, part you of the team? Make sure everybody make make sure everybody playing their role. Make sure everybody got a role. Make sure everybody know what they doing. What's the most important roles? Top three. Man. What you need? You need a manager. Mm-hmm. You gonna need the street a person that's on the that's that that's on the street side. Like marketing? Like what you mean? Like, you know, that's in the streets. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like who going if you got a fly, if you need a sign, they're not gonna be ashamed to hold up your poster. They're not gonna be ashamed to go pass pass out a flyer or something like that. Mm. You see what I'm saying? You need somebody that's and they gonna go to the clubs and make sure the DJ playing your song too. Mm. So if they, if even if they gotta pay, they gotta do something. Make sure that person that's on your street team doing the right thing. Like, make sure that they, you know what I'm saying, advertising you. So management, street team, what else? Management, street team, top three. It's just top the, three. Yeah. Or is that just the most important things right there? I mean. Them, I, I feel like them the most important for the time. If you just coming up, like management, you need somebody that's gonna that that know the business, that that know what they doing, that's gonna know how to talk for you, speak on your behalf. Like I said, the street team, they gonna promote you. They gonna go to the club. They are gonna make sure that the DJ's playing the song or or know the song. You feel what I'm saying? To get you heard. But if you the hottest nigga, do you really need the street team? Cause this shit is already playing everywhere. You gonna always need the street team. Why you need a street team if you got the number one song in the world? I'm curious. I don't know. Cause it's, it's always somebody that don't know you. No matter where you go. Mm. So say for instance, you got the hottest song, right? I had the hottest song. I had one of the hottest songs. Mm-hmm. It, at that time frame, I'm gonna think only like ten. No, it probably artists. was the hottest song. Huh? At that time, it probably was the hottest song. Yeah, it probably was. Yeah. I don't really know. But in that time frame, it was only like ten artists. That went gold or platinum in that year, mm-hmm. and I was one of the ones. The first year, yeah, it was platinum or gold. It went both. It went, it went take, gold and then it went platinum a month later. That's crazy. Niggas yeah. take literally like a few years to go. Oh no no no, that's fire. it went gold and then a month later it turned around and went platinum. That's hard. So, but it just like in that time frame, folks know that song right, but half of the folks don't even know I dropped the project. 
Mm, okay. So the street team gonna be able to po- put them posters up at different clubs to show like, oh yeah, this not this is this is he got more than it. Makes sense. A lot of folks knew the song, but still to this day don't even know what I look like. Mm. And then when they see me, be like, dang, that's what he looked like. And I be like, yeah, what y'all thought I looked like? So as far as the street team, they gon' they gon' it's gonna help you. And then street team don't even just gotta be directly street. They can be for like internet too. Mm. I know you said you were shy. I'm well not shy. You don't like people, whatever. But does that ever get to you? Like your work being bigger than you, right? People know your song, but you can walk in <clears throat> not saying all the time, but yeah. it's times where you can walk in a room and people wouldn't even know you until mm-hmm. you say, That's my song and now everybody wanna jump on your dick. Right. Does that ever get frustrating? Uh uh-uh. uh. No? I read the mood like that. Okay. I read the mood like that. Mm. Like I said, I I like I wanted to be behind the scenes. But now it's like I done had that spotlight time, right? So it's like I can't take it. I can't take it back. And now I didn't come in as a writer, I came in as an artist, so I gotta be that artist too. Mm. So it's like I'm kind of like on the both sides of both worlds. Mm. So I know what I was signed for. So I know what I got to I know what I got to do and I know what I got to keep, you know what I'm saying, bring it to the table as, as far as what I did when I got signed. So as far as the artist side, I'm adapting to that. Mm. And I'm just really adapting to like I'm a, been I always been a quiet person. Now I'm starting to, you know what I'm saying, talk a little bit more cuz I I got a a great personality. Like I'm a bright person i'm fun mm. you know what i'm saying but i was always the person that would just sit in the corner and be quiet and play my role because it was a lot of times where it's like i went needed to talk i ain't need to talk I, what did i what what was what was i gonna say or wh- why did i need to say anything if this not my business that's going on none of this stuff got nothing to do with me so why am i speaking mm. so i would always just sit and be in the corner and then a lot of times people would never like acknowledge me or people didn't even notice me like a lot of dudes would like try to kind of i wouldn't say yeah i guess you could say they would try to like little boy me because of the fact that i knew how to play my role and i knew what type of work i needed to do to get to where i'm at today so i had to use my stepping stones and i had to do certain things like you know what i'm saying i would go run and get food you feel what i'm saying because at that time i didn't want to work a regular nine to five mm. so i would run and get food for artists and do certain things, you know what I'm saying, just to keep a, a little a little piece of change just so I can have some money in my pocket. Yeah. And with that, with me doing that, and somebody being able to tell me, okay, go to the store or go get go pick up my food and go do this, with me doing that, they try to they try to little boy me a little bit. You feel what I'm saying? Was well, this after Throat Baby? Hell no. Nah. This is before? Yeah, this is before. Okay. Yeah, no. Nah. Okay. I know a little boy going on. I was just curious because, yeah, like, nah. sometimes that's naturally who I am. Like, yeah. I feel like sometimes people do try to put you in that box because, like, even yeah, now, man. like, my shit lit. But if I'm in a room with somebody, like, bro, like, if I ain't doing shit, right, I go to the store. Yeah, like, no, I still are, like, I still do that to this day. Like, that's just the genuine person that I am. Mm-hmm. Like, it's no shame in me. Right. You feel what I'm saying? I can have. A lot of millions, and I'm gonna still yeah. be the same person because right. that's just who I am. I got a kind heart, and like I look at myself as just like I'm in. Is, is everybody else in the room? I'm the same as you. So if you don't got a car, if you can't go do this, like I go do it. Like I go do it, or I, like, you know what I mean? They be like, why are you doing it? Mm. You you can pay somebody to do that. Or you can da da da. You don't need to be doing that. But I'm just like, why not? It's crazy because like, bro. These interviews is like it's so special because, like we as much as we talk about energy, that shit is real. And like mm-hmm. like I said, like bro, it's just you seem like you just a cool nigga. Like to be yeah. honest, like I would want to like support a nigga like you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, it's just cool. You would think that. What you mean? I'm saying you would think like people would want to like would want to support or want to fuck with, but it don't matter. Like you can have the, the brightest personality in the world, you can be the the best person in the world, but if you not like what they want to see or what's going on at the time. They don't give a fuck. Yeah, and they not. So it just like shit. I'm just the sex guy to people. Mm. That's it. So make another sex song, nigga. I mean, I got a, I got a, a lot of songs. It's out. 
And the, the the crazy part is the shit is so hard. And it's like and when people start catching on, they hear it, they be like, man, that shit hard as fuck. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Nah, no, facts. But you know, to each his own. It's whatever. Man, that shit, I know you say you don't care. That shit will frustrate the fuck out of me. No, especially it do get frustrating, but I say it, meditation, though, you got to remember that. Oh, yeah. Because, like, especially, like, just think about niggas, like, niggas walking around like, bro, yo fell off. Bitch, I just dropped this on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now that, yeah. But like I said, people with attention span, you got to understand a person. Like, you got to understand just the, the culture of what's going on today. That's a fact. Understand the culture. I had to tell my, I, t- I, I be, um telling my friend all the time like soon as somebody new come out that's why i even said it with you and i was like mm-hmm. not that you just started because what happened is a nigga uh, just find out about somebody mm-hmm. and be like yo you heard that nigga that just that just came out bro don't disrespect that man like that you don't know how hard yeah. he worked you just was yeah. introduced to him you feel me like you can't never <clears> like i hate when niggas say that like bro that, the new nigga that just came out bro yeah just because we, the world just got introduced to him don't oh, make he's new so when you were saying like that so if you want to put it like that then <clears> i wouldn't be new because <clears> if you go back so my name, or my my name originally is it was Cash Cash. cash. Right, you yeah, feel yeah. what I'm saying? Come on, man, I be working, bro. I know. So if folks go back and you go back to like, back to Travis Porter days, and you go look at Strap the Fool all in, you see Cash Cash. I got songs on there with Shouty Low. Uh, I was always been the hook man. You feel what I'm saying? Just behind the scene doing that. So if you want to put it like that, then. Nah, I ain't, I'm not new. I've see, been around. I was giving you I've respect. You yeah. were saying, see, I was giving you respect. But as me, as my own person, yeah, I'm new because at that time, I was just like banking on hoping that somebody would like give me a shot, you know what I'm saying? Or I'd be, mm-hmm. in, the, be in, the, in the room and somebody, you know what I'm saying? Somebody yeah, uh, at least give me a chance. But at that time, um... I ain't really, I ain't, I ain't really get no chance. I ain't really get no shot. Like, I, I was just a little bored. Mm. So you like being signed right now? You like this space? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. LVRN. They not yeah. chasing, but they, I always think the label is chasing a, 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 a track or a song. I would think so. Or you signed as a writer? Nah, I'm signed as an artist, artist, writer. So they not chasing it? I would think the label is chasing the hit. See, the thing about, about them, right, they more worried about the artist mentally at, for real at first no way they they care yeah, about nah, your nah. mental yeah no nah, for sure that's um, like admirable. they make you talk to a admirable. therapist and everything like so they more so worried about of course you feel what i'm saying now if i was in the red then maybe okay but i'm okay. not in the red i'm in the green oh okay. that makes sense okay. so it's just like at that point if you could do it once you can do it again it's on you if you don't if you don't try to apply yourself to do it again, mm. or if you try to wait and think that time don't wait for nobody. So you got to understand like you got to keep going, you got to keep pushing. So with them, it's just like they may they focus on what do I want to do, regardless of if I'm an artist or if I'm a writer, they gonna get their money anyway. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm I'm on a pull up too. You feel me? You writing for any artists over there? I write for everybody. Who I mean, whoever get the song, they just get the song. So you got some shit with Summer Walker? No, I ain't got no shit with Summer yet. I want some shit with Summer though. Well, you say you want some with Summer? I said I, I said I want some shit with that Summer. That should be though. the easy layup. I know it is, but you gotta have the right thing. You don't wanna you don't wanna go to no Summer Walker with no bullshit. Yeah, facts. Are you like walking past Summer Walker? Like it's the same building. Like are you? Yeah, they got their own studio. I done been in a, we done been on, we done been in the studio a couple of times, you know what I'm saying? Dang. Different rooms. What about the new artist? Are you writing for Alex Vaughn? No, I ain't wrote for, I ain't wrote for Alex yet, but Alex hard though. Yeah, she hard. Yeah, Alex hard. Yeah, we, me and Alex, we went on tour, we went on a, a college tour um together, um not too long ago, probably like, like four, like Who else y'all got over ago. there? Division, she got Division, DeVito. Damn. Uh, Crazy. Black. Black is over there. Yeah, Y'all got a spin whole. Off. That's crazy. Baby Tate. Yeah, Black, yeah. You got That's Baby crazy. Tate, Westside Boogie. Yeah. Boogies. Niggas, niggas don't know about Boogie. He go yeah. crazy. Baby Tate going crazy right now, too. Damn, y'all got a whole little all-star team over there. Oh, yeah. In the building? Oh, my God. By far. Like it's still getting the, built out, but when it get done, it's still getting built out, and it's still by far probably the best 
<laughs> I don't even like. I don't even like that industry shit. I don't. I, that's not me. Yeah. That building made me like, oh nah, I need. Man, to do when something they here. get done, psh, that shit gonna be crazy. Right now, I still be up there. Like, if I don't want to go to the house or nothing, <laughs> like the the the, the ambiance is it's so, so fire, it's so good. You could go up there and just have a little kit. But you got the pool outside. You got the fireplace, that's, kitchen, whatever. Wow. Like. And then the downstairs studio that's getting built. <laughs> I sound yeah. like a, a industry nigga. Let me stop, man. That's gonna be that's, <laughs> that's gonna be my spot right though. That's a vibe. I ain't gonna lie. I yeah. gotta do. A, I gotta do. I gotta do an interview like in right yeah. there in the middle area by the fireplace. Yeah, that's just hard. That's just hard. That's a vibe, man. So what you got? What you got coming up? What's new? Like talk to me about what's going I'm on finna, right now. I'm finna drop some. Uh, finna drop some new music. You know, so I might drop a little EP or uh, project. I don't really know yet, but like I said, I just been focused on the on the writing. The writing side. Um, got shows coming up. Uh. I just like I just been moving around. I just been working, man. Mm. Trying to keep trying to keep my head on the swivel. Bro, you gonna follow me back, bro? I always do this. I do this with everybody. I always do this with everybody. Like, I put niggas on yeah. the spot. Like nah, niggas is you know what I'm saying? Like, like don't do me dirty, dog. Don't do me dirty, bro. Let me unfollow you. Follow you back. Follow you again. So, you can, <laughs> so my shit could be up top. You feel me? Let me. Let me you know what I'm saying so my shit could be up top, yeah. dog. Yo, yeah, boy, this is boy, this boy. is great. You make me want to be your friend. Yeah, <laughs> like I don't want to be everybody, bro. Like you, like you was a, a down to earth nigga. Like this is cool, bro. For real, I just, I just followed you back. All right, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> right, there you go. <laughs> he gonna unfollow that. He gonna unfollow that. Like yo, it remind nah, me. I don't even follow, like. follow that many folks. <clears throat> That's why I said you gonna unfollow my ass when you, when you dip. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, I fuck. Nah, for real, like yo, be on social media like that. Social I think media people fuck me up. What, what you mean? You fuck up. You fuck up your mental, man. How? So much false. So much false shit on them. So I try to stay away from it. Yeah. That's why I don't even really post pictures like that. Mm. Because I don't be wanting to go on the internet and just really see. Like I be having folks, like some people, like I be on my page sometimes, but I have people like run my page. Mm. Because it just be like. It make you feel like you got to ch- chase something, maybe. Like for sometimes for me. You chasing, but it's a lot of hate on the tool. You, 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 yeah, and then it that's make, if you it make looking, people, though. It make people feel lesser than a person that they really are when in our reality this that you see might be cap in hell Facts. but just because you see it and it look good it's making you feel like you need to do that and a lot of folks done trick themselves off the streets mm. because they felt like they needed to get this money that they they wanted the money that he was flashing they needed the chain that he got mm. now i get the i get the whole concept of the mind thing like you want to be this person is make somebody want to be you but it only can be a strong-minded person to even just to do certain things like that because it's like if you don't have the if you don't have the the resources to get this now you just went out there and tried to go rob somebody so you can flex so you can flash a little ten thousand so you can be like this nigga. it's just like damn that shit fucked up Yo, it's crazy because a lot of people ask for fame, but they not even prepared for what come with it, bro. Yeah, 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 no. Nah. That shit come with a lot, bro. Yeah, it come with a lot. Niggas wanting your spot. Niggas wanting what you got. I respect little baby to the fullest. Why you say that? It's hard, bro. It's just like even just everything from the 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 whole setup. Like he, I don't know. I can't really explain it, but just from the outside looking in. From how he carry himself, you know what I'm saying? For mm-hmm. everything that he do, it's just like, that's a 100% real nigga. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? He ain't doing too much. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He just, it's him. I fuck with Lil Baby in his come up. Like, that nigga ain't even want to rap. That's what I'm saying. The come up, like, if you just, if you from Atlanta, you just look at the whole timeline, you look at the whole pattern of him, it's just like, that's like an American dream right Facts. Nah, no You fact. feel what I'm yeah, saying? that's a fact, yeah. <laughs> No, 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 not really. Cause little baby was hustling. He was hustling, but and a nigga really just, bro, that shit don't happen. Like a nigga was like, bro, I want you to rap, bro. Right, but he didn't want to though. Facts, that's what I'm saying. So you American doing dream something that you ain't wanna do. When I hear of American dream, I feel like a nigga working hard. Like me, I'm the American dream, nigga. Fuck that. He was working hard. He doing was his hustle. He ain't wanna rap. He didn't want to rap, but you got to understand. When I hear, listen, when I hear American Dream, in my, in my opinion, not right. to cut you off, not to cut you off. You good. When I hear American Dream, I hear like a nigga behind the boards. Man, I was editing for a nigga. 
I was editing for opportunity because I wanted to be on a podcast. I eventually got on a podcast. I was talking and then my shit blew up. That's an American dream for me. Lil Baby was hustling. He ain't give a fuck about none of that shit. Nigga like, bro, man, hop in the booth, man. Nigga said, right. all right. And then he just, that shit is like, damn. Like, that shit. But like, you see, if you if you flip it to my mind, okay. I was hustling in the streets. Now I am the streets. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Sheesh, that's crazy. Facts. That's crazy. That's, that's just how my that's how my mind interpreted, and then just looking at it is just like that's crazy. Can't do nothing but salute them. No, nah, for sure. Oh no, for sure. You gotta salute them. Future. What? Well, ain't that your family? Ain't y'all yeah, related? Like, or like my cousin on some on do my brother. <laughs> <laughs> for real, <laughs> nigga, future cousin. Nah, for real. They like my cousin through like my through my brother. Like you, but you know, like you know how that go. Nah, you gotta explain. What you mean? Is it through my brother or through my sister? Nigga, what the fuck is you? Man, it went on. Like, look, you know, so I was, I forgot where I was at. And then somebody was like, yeah, you know that's your cousin. And then I was like, how? And then she told me. And then I was like, oh, it makes sense. You ain't just say nothing. Because I don't, it don't make sense. What uh, what you expect? I just, I said something in my mind, I said a lot. I just told you, I just explained the whole sentence. But to you, it probably like, it it didn't sound like I said nothing. But I just explained everything in in one You ain't, did y'all get it? I ain't get it. I said I was somewhere. Uh Uh-huh. I forgot who it was, but I know it was a woman. (laughs) That ain't nothing, but okay. She told me, she was like, yeah, you know that's your cousin. I'm like, how? She explained. What did she explain? Somebody, it was somebody daddy. It, oh, <laughs> no. I think it's my sister, daddy. That's his nephew. Bro, what the fuck is you talking about? Bro, that's how, that's how, <laughs> bro, come on. Bro. I just, I just explained everything. No, you're right. I feel you because uh, Will Smith, my cousin. Will Smith? Yeah. Oh, Through who? <laughs> 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 uh, no, nah, no cap. I think. So through marriage, so Jada Pinkett is my cousin through, like a friend of the family, not blood, like yeah. friend of the family type vibe. Oh, see, if we doing it like that. Well, I got so many cousins, but <laughs> <laughs> so, so future, got, so future, your blood nah, cousin. Forever, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna actually drop. I ain't gonna say blood because me and my sister don't got the same daddy. We got the same mama. Nigga, that's blood. That's closer than your daddy. But he, oh, he a cousin through a daddy side. Yo. So that's what I'm trying to tell you. So I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna get the whole face. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get them to explain it to me, and then I'm gonna explain it on my Instagram. And I'm gonna be like, yo, all right, bet. Actually, I ain't finna do all that because it ain't even that serious. Matter of fact, now I think about it. Shit, what up? He fucking around with Spawn. Be like, bro, let's do a song together now. I didn't, I didn't bought that to. I don't bought that to him. What he say? I forgot what he said. I think he was like, I said, I said we gotta get one in. He was like, "That's a nigga way to say." We gotta I get said, one. "Hey, I said, I said, but well, we gotta get one in." He was, a matter of fact, he was walking down the magic. I said, "But well, we gotta get one in," and he was like, "Uh, all right, I holler at you." No, for sure. nah, for shit show, for sure, for sure. No, matter of fact, boom, he was walking out the magic. I'm like, "We gotta get one in," and then he was like, "Pluto," <laughs> and I'm. Like, <laughs> and I, I, you know, he I'm ain't like, say his own name. <laughs> What the fuck? But well, he just kept walking though. He dapped me up. He dapped me up. No, no lie. He dapped me up. But he kept walking. So I ain't even get to explain. I didn't get to explain. Like, hey, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> then I, I had DM'd him one time on the ground and he sent me a bird. <laughs> <laughs> Was it white? Was it a white bird? Nah, it's the eagle. He sent me the free band, the free band bird. Yo said, bro, we got to get one in. The nigga responded. Replied with Pluto. <laughs> what the fuck do that mean? I don't know. Hey, that's the wizard. You know, you never know. You never know. So you still holding on to that shit? I'm holding day. on to it. You going? You going to tell him? I go look at the DM. I go look at the DM all the time. And be like, damn, man, this nigga future sent me a, a eagle. So and he ain't even say no words. I respo- said the eagle. You ain't send him no messages back. I ain't, what I was supposed to, what I was supposed to say to an eagle? <laughs> Yo, let's lock in. Fuck you, should be I said on. that the first thing before he responded. I would have said that bitch again. So I mean, what you trying to do? Man, I ain't finna do all that, man. Shit, that's the wizard, dog. T. Yo said Pluto. So if you see if you see him again, what you going? What you going? Tell me how the conversation go. You see Pluto. You, you see future right now, right? Right. 
you going to walk up to me like, yo, bro, you said Pluto when I said we should get it in, bro. What's up? How, how the conversation going to go? I don't even know. You know, he just be, he, he, he real, like, chill. He be laid back. Half the time, you can't even get to him. So if so, you could get to him, you see him right now, what you going to say? I, you get your chance. I got something for you. Lock it, lock in. He going to say Pluto. Because you got to understand, if you just thought out as a writer, too. Facts. People yeah, don't yeah, know he that. He, he was over at the Dungeon Family Audit. So it's like. He wrote the shit for Beyonce. Um, Drunk in Love. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. Hard. But I don't even know. I don't even know. I wouldn't even know what to say. I'm be like, yo, bro, remember last time I talked to you, bro? You said you at Magic City, bro. I said, bro, we got to get one in. Pluto. I'm going to ask him. I'm gonna be like, yo, what, what, what does Pluto mean? Because when I asked you, when I said we should get one in, that's what you responded with. So what, what does that mean? I'm going to ask. That's what I would say. I don't know what the what the bird meant. I guess it just mean like one hundred. A bird? Yeah. I th- they actually have a, a hundred emoji though. You could have just put a hundred emoji. He different. <laughs> like when you a trans, that you just do you do things differently. You feel what I'm saying? So how many eagles you sent out since then? How many eagles I sent? <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not free band gang, so I can't send out no eagles. I can't send out no. So that, have you tried something different now? No, no. So what would you send out? To me, I just be sending out the strong on. Okay. Strong. I would think you would send out like the emoji with the tongue out. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why would I do that? You think I'm finna send a grown ass man back a tongue out emoji? Throat baby. Man, come on, <laughs> man. <laughs> man, come on. I'm fucking with you, bro. Nah. Yeah, I appreciate you for pulling up, bro. For the niggas that don't know, tell them how to follow you and everything, dog. I can follow me on all <laughs> social media platforms, B-R-S-K-A-S-H, B-R-S-K-A-S-H. For those of y'all who don't know, that's on all social media, too, so, yo. He gonna kid. send you the strong arm. He ain't gonna send you the emoji with the, uh. I ain't send you no tongue got emoji. I send you strong arm. Strong arm. Let you know. Even for the host, strong arm. Nah, they get the little purple demon. That's not that's not a bad emoji. Mm-mm. Demon time. You know what time it is. Yo, you know what emoji would be fire? You gotta send the the frozen emoji. Are you talking about that little frost, the little fro- the little snowflake? Yeah, not the snowflake, but I think it's the emoji. Is a the, the f- oh in the face the with f- the little ice on. Ooh, that's player. That's player. You send a girl that and you ice cold. Damn! You ice cold. I'm in a relationship. I can't do that. Now, so that, so that ain't player? Put that shit back in the box. That ain't player? <laughs> that, that's hard. That's he not, said, ooh, baby, you ice cold. Nah, like you ice cold. That's hard. That's not hard. Y'all some haters. <laughs> that shit hard. You send a girl right to a... Let's see, send a girl right now. Dim the, the, the ice cold emoji. You, you cold. You ice there. cold. Didn't Future say that too? You, you ice cold. You ice cold. Oh yeah. Vanilla ice. Nah, 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 nah. I think um I think what happened was uh that just reminded me. Of, I think Quavo sent that to uh Sweetie. Yeah. You ice cold. Yeah, you ice cold. Icy girl. Hey yo. You gotta do that, bro. Listen to me. I got you, dog. I can't be doing all this. Niggas with money can. What? I can't be doing all this. I appreciate you. Yo, this shit was dope. I fuck with you. Yeah. Nah, I fuck with you, dog. Like, you're you're a real down to earth nigga, bro. For real, man. This shit was cool. This is is a breath of fresh air, man. I fuck with it. BRS Cast, Mr. J Hill. J Hill Podcast. Hey, great conversation with great people, man. It's a wrap. We out. We out.